Hey, how's it going guys? Hashlips here. Welcome back to a new cool series about NFTs and how we do them, I guess. <laughs> um, by the way, cool. So today um, I'm going to talking about Polygon Matic. Now, why do you see this? Basically, you can read up about it. All the URLs will be at the top here. But Matic Network moved to Polygon. They rebranded, but they're still the same thing. Um, they're just amazing, by the way. And I'll show you how amazing they are. So obviously I'll have a bunch of links in the description. But first things first, what is Matic? What is all this stuff? Just briefly. Now, Matic, um, if we go and have a look at here, um, Polygon Matic, um, is basically a technology that is, it says here, Ethereum's Internet of Blockchains. <laughs> well, basically that doesn't explain it how I want to explain it. Um, Ethereum is basically um, the main kunane over there, but Matic sitting around it as a layer two solution to low transaction fees, making it faster, and it's really, really fast, guys. And I'll show you today how fast. First things first, before we get into um, how to use Matic, just one uh, quick thing how to get Matic. Um, obviously, you can buy Matic with um, a few means. But ways that I suggest is through this RAMP network. They're really good. I've got a um, lot of success there. And also this um, Transac um, um, website. So basically you'll go in and say, I want to buy some, you know, Matic. And how that works is just to show you guys on MetaMask. When you have your Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet, this is the Ethereum mainnet. This is your Ethereum address, right? Your Matic will be binded to this. But disclaimer here, before you buy Matic, make sure that you do not buy the Matic, if you want to follow along, that's on the Ethereum network as the token, as the custom token. Because this Matic is still Matic, but it's there's two different types of Matic. There's Post, Bridge, and there's Plasma, I think. But anyway, the Matic I'm talking about is sitting on the Matic network. Now, for your... You guys out there, your fundies, you'll know exactly how to work this. For the guys who are not that clued up on blockchain technologies, um, I will make another video for you. So just sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and there will be another one explaining how to set this up, okay? But anyway, what I'm talking about is the mainnet, uh, Matic mainnet, all right? And you can see I've got some Matic in there too. So if you buy it through either Transact or Ramp, it will go to this. As long as you go and select in the cryptocurrency you want to buy, as long as you make sure that you select Matic Polygon, but where it says Matic over there, because these are the, the chains that it's running on. So make sure you select that one. And it's relatively cheap. Um, Matic's actually $0.36 for one Matic. But let's get minting and let me tell you how... Um, how cool this is this product is so if you want to head over to mint nft today currently um, they provided you with this free nft minter it uses a, it, their own smart contract to mint nft so if you absolutely new to the matic network try this out first see if it works for you and see how cheap and fast the transactions are so let's get going uh, you'll present be presented with this form which you can fill in the title. Now I have already filled in my hashtags title, a description, and you also have the choice between ERC721 uh, and ERC1155, uh, and then also the quantity. But you can't set the quantity on ERC721, but you can with this one. But we're just going to make a normal standard NFT, and I'll upload a photo. The photo I'll be uploading is 9923, this hash loop with the cat in the back, um, <laughs> we just call Mr. Chronic Lips. Okay, let's carry on. Let's say submit. So once you've filled in all these things, make sure that you've connected your wallet and make sure that you are on the Matic main network. So it should say Matic mainnet there. Obviously, this is a custom uh, RPC. So in order to hook that up, just Google um, custom RP, um, RPC for Matic main network. And just make sure you get it from the reliable source before you enter your credentials there. Okay, once you've set that up, you're ready to go. We can hit submit and it will kick off the process. Now this doesn't take long at all. Um, I believe the, the transaction speeds are like one second. 
Um, the only time, the only thing that why it's uploading is it needs to upload the image quickly and needs to do all those things. But there you can see image uploaded successfully and I get this pop up to sign. Okay, so it says cool Polygon Mint, I want to mint an NFT. I say that's good with me. So I accept that I'll just sign it from my wallet. And then we can just wait and it will be done right now. Sweet. Congratulations. NFT minted. That's pretty cool. So we can go and check out the hash there, which I'll do right now. We can view it on the RK network. Now, our, the RK network is a very cool network as well. It's also like a uh, marketplace, which I'll just briefly show. But then also you can mint more NFTs. Um, so I'll also open this link to this just now. But let's first check at the hash. Let's see what happened. Here's the hash. It's almost like ether scan, but this is now for the Matic network. And um, here you can see the block confirmations. The token was submitted, um, submitted and minted successfully. And it only took us 3.2 seconds. The previous transaction was 1.1. So it's around there, but it's super fast. And then the cost, guys, to mint it cost us 0.00127 Matic. Now, if you remember that uh, one Matic cost us 0 0.36 uh, dollars. So if you really think about it, the transaction fees on this is almost nothing. This is how much it will cost you in US dollars to mint an NFT, 0 0.000466. And also it will cost you the same when you send it. And that's the problem with Ethereum. Ethereum's gas prices are way too high for me to mint my NFTs and that's why I'm switching over to Matic. And um, yeah, so this is the block, block explorer. I just wanna quickly go to the Arcane um you know marketplace that's also in beta all these things are in beta guys when these when these marketplaces come out it's going to be super cool now i will have to go to my inventory and by the way you can also just sign up here and view your nfts it, uh, nfts on there okay now um your nft will pop up um on this list but i don't really want to use arcane market for now I am more of an OpenSea person at the moment because all my NFTs are sitting on OpenSea anyway. So, OpenSea.io, for you, for you who don't know what that is, this is also a NFT marketplace. When we go to my profile and we scroll down and we look at what's in my profile, there we can see there's our newly minted um, NFT. And it's on the Matic chain. And how do we know that this is on the Matic chain and not on the Ethereum chain? You can check there. There's a little M at the bottom there that will tell us. All three of these are. Um, these ones aren't. These ones are on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So you can see I've been experimenting here, which is cool. So OpenSea allows us to read these tokens because they follow the same standard, the ERC um, 20, what, 27 one standard. Um, of NFTs, so they they allow us to view these these NFTs. So that is pretty cool, and we can kind of transfer them, do what we want with them. Um, we can still read the information on them. The only difference is when you mint them currently, because they're all in beta. And I mean, if you look at the Polygon, the minter, um, these guys they allow you to mint free. Obviously, they have their own smart contract, so it will just fall under a different collection, non fungible Matic V2. But you can set up your own smart contracts, and once OpenSea releases their uh, Matic Layer 2 solution, you'll be able to mint them directly on OpenSea 2. Uh, just to um, show you guys how that looks, that's basically um, just where OpenSea is going to say, cool, we are going to do this with Matic 2. All right, um, what else can I show you guys? Oh, I can basically show you the Open 2. Uh, Matic OpenCIO. So as you can see in the URL, there's Matic OpenCIO. Uh, it says here OpenC Layer 2 Beta. So these guys are in beta. So I've connected my normal Ethereum wallet and what did it do? It picked up some of the NFTs that, that's in here. So if I just refresh, just remember the site's in beta. They're busy testing the whole time. So um, you won't be able to sell or buy or do anything really, I guess. I think you can. I'm not sure. But they are testing the stuff out. But there's the new NFT we've minted. Super fast, super cool. Guys, I don't know about you, but it literally cost us 0 
dollars to mint an NFT. And if you think about it, that's ridiculously cheap. All right. Last word from my side, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to go and mint on this Polygon Mint today, get your Matic. Um, please just make sure that when you get the Matic that you stay on the Matic mainnet. Um, or you can get Ethereum Matic, but then you're going to have to transfer this Matic over to the main Matic. And you can see the site anyway warning us and saying, um, yo, you need to be on the Matic mainnet. So uh, if you go and buy your Matic, um, please do that so that you can go and mint your NFTs. Once you've minted your NFTs, your NFTs exist on your um, wallet and you can go and check them out on your profile on any on, on OpenSea, any place that shows nft the nft standard and you'll be able to trade and sell them and what's nice about this is one matic can almost give you a thousand transactions so when you have one matic it costs you so little you can actually share your nfts with your friends give them away sell them and people who buy them don't actually have to pay these gas fees i am hash tips and thank you so much for watching this video please let me know in the comments like subscribe and tell me what you think and also if you want to see some other videos let me know i'll definitely make them goodbye for now